Hello and welcome back here on the Flying Channel. Amazon is a bit like the grandma who does not know what the kids want. You get something, but it's not what you wanted. And this is the same with Amazon Merge. We have now a price cap on certain products and certain marketplaces. And you can see it here already on the screen. This message is now quite a common, can calculate accurate royalty. And this is a huge problem right now, not just because you can't price the items as high as you'd like maybe. The other thing is that of course a lot of designs and products are already uploaded and the problem is you often want to update prices, but this is not possible because you get this error message all the time. And all the tools you may be used, like the product Autopilot, we go to this in a moment, don't work anymore because they always just can change one price or one product and you often forget about things because then you can only make a certain price or you can make every price two euros higher or lower but you never get the price you want and this is a huge problem and this is where flying upload can help you to solve this completely you can believe me i already updated thousands of designs in the last a couple of weeks since the price cap and how you can do it i show you now we do this in two steps. First one, what you need, and then the second one, how you prepare in flying, and then also how you upload and update your designs. This video, you can see here on the screen, I made nearly exactly two years ago. And this is a video where I already showed to the users how you can update your products and this is also a functionality we will use now. The difference is that in flying you can now also skip certain parts like pricing, like colors, like listing and this is very important for the update we plan to do. And the two things you need now is apart from your Merch by Amazon account of course, you need the product Chrome extension. Most of you will no product already otherwise you go to the Chrome store search for productor and then you can install then you have here these extra tabs and then you can here can, uh, you can here go to the products tab that we need in a moment to get the designs so first you need the productor and second you need of course also here flying upload and important you need the advanced or pro upload version from our store or a bundle where this is included and when you have the productor and when you have a flying upload with the advanced or pro version you can also update all your products with just a few clicks and this is already everything you need and now I show you how you do it. In the second step I show you how you have to prepare everything in flying. No worries, it's also very simple. The first thing you do here in Flying Upload is you go here on top to Profiles and here you go to Profile Manager, Open Profile Manager. You can see here I already yeah, created a few profiles I already use for updates but this should not matter. We make now a new one and the thing is you take now a PNG or a JPEG, whatever you want. It doesn't matter what it is, we just need it for the data. You take any PNG JPEG you want and simply drag and drop it here. Then you have the file name and then you can just rename it. Um, in our case we just name it YouTube video. You can name it however you like and then you go here to edit profile. The image you can see here you can ignore. It's just a placeholder and then you go here to Amazon and this is here now the Amazon create mask and now you can set your products, marketplaces and prices that you want. I would um, recommend to you here, I already have it in the background, to open the create mask like you know it from Amazon Merge and then already test here the uh, product prices you want to have so you don't enter anything um, wrong that Amazon does not want. You know what I mean? Um, I mean Flying would also give you an error message if it is not allowed this price, but yeah, this saves uh, time and also nerves. So I recommend here already opening the create mask and then we go back here to the um, profiles. I open 
here flying again. So for example, we want to have the shirt and we want to have all the marketplaces. And now the price should be 80.99 for all marketplaces, except the one in Great Britain. We make here, for example, 60.99 and for uh, Japan, I don't know, um, we make 2,299 yen. Then the type, um, I would always recommend to you to just add men and women. If you have already uploaded a design and it is for youth, youth is also already checked. So you don't have to worry here, um, just that maybe a design that shouldn't be for youth, that it is not checked as youth during the update, I would always recommend to uh, don't check here youth, always just men and women. And for the color, it is the same. Usually, um, you should do one profile for black color, for, for darker colors, and one for brighter colors. Um, for my workflow, 95% of my designs suit on a black background, so I just also enable black here, um, because this can collide with the um, colors from Amazon, for example, if you add here this many colors and you already have colors online for your design, it could be that you up want to update um, above the allowed 10 colors per product. And this is why you should here just choose the main color. Of course, you can also define this like you want, but yeah, you should here be with the main color. And like I did with the standard shirt, you can also do it for everything else. For example, the sweatshirt, um, I'm checking here, sweatshirt, I want to have the prices 32.99. And then I go back here to flying and then I enable all my marketplaces again. And then I can enter here the 32.99. And for Japan, I think we had 4,299 yen. And here is the same. Um, you can check black. Of course, you can also check the other darker colors if you want. This is completely up to you. Um, just if you want to make it sure, just um, yeah, choose black. And this is how you can do it for all products. Also, um, accessories, for example, pop sockets when you have, want to have a black background and you want to have it on um, .com and also UK and then also the German marketplace, etc. I think you get the concept now. And this is how you can define your whole profile. You do this profile like you want to update your products. Of course, you can have several variations. This is just a example, um, example profile, how it could look like. And when you have everything, you have here, of course, also the other Amazon options. And here is that thing that I mentioned before that you can now skip parts. For us, it is important to update the products, to update here, the um, especially the prices for the marketplaces. And this is what is already suiting. So in our case, we already entered here everything we need. And if you now click save, you will get error messages because um, flying upload things. This is an Amazon listing and hey, it is not completed. And this is why these error messages come up. Um, but this also does not really matter because um, yeah, you can say yes in your case when you have an um, English UI here. And you can see here when I open again, everything is still saved. So everything is fine and you could use that. If you don't want to have this error message, then just simply write anything in the listing uh, you want. We skip this part, it's just for the error message. Um, for example, just for update. And then we add this here, you can leave bullets and description empty. And then when you click on save again, you will have here this error message again, hey, this is all too short. And here I also have a little trick for you. You can go here to features, to advanced MBA, and then you say also bug main language to all. And then you can see here, no matter if English, German, Fr um, French, everything has now this listing here. And then when you click save again, also the error message is gone. This is just that you don't get error messages. I think you get it now. Um, the important part is 
that we created here, the profile with the products and also with the prices that we want. And this is what we use also now as a template for the products and designs we want to update and how you load them now into Flying Upload, I show you in the next step. And now we get the designs we want with a producter, we update with the profile we just created and then upload to Amazon Merch. You go back to your Amazon dashboard to the products tab from the producter you installed and then you filter here for the marketplace you want, this is important, for the status, status life in this case and always just one product shirt in this case. So the important things are market, just one marketplace, just one status and just one product. Otherwise you would double and uh, triple the exports because product exports you products, not just a certain design. And with this settings, we make sure that you really just um, yeah, export every design once. And then when you have filtered this, of course, you can also search for the brand name, for the title, whatever you want. In my case, it is St. Patrick's Day because um, yeah, now or we are short before the time uh, before St. Patrick's designs start selling. And then you select the ones you want. Of course, this can also be hundreds of designs. In my case, in my showcase here, um, we have just five designs. And then you go here to export selected and here important products with designs. So you get the designs and also an Excel file with all the data. You click on it and then um, the download will automatically begin for the Excel and also for the zip files with the designs. I already did this and then it will look uh, like this. Here you have your folder and then you can see here your zip files and also your Excel files. Important to know the zip files with the designs, it can also be more than one. Um, and the Excel with the data have to be in the same folder. This is the only important thing. These things have to be in the same folder. And then you open Flying Upload again. You can empty here. And then you have here the Excel you just exported with Producta, drag and drop it here. And then all the data from these five designs will get imported. And you see here we exported the standard shirt, so we only, only have the standard shirt in this case for the .com marketplace. But this does not matter because all we do now is click here on profiles, and then we have here the YouTube video profile we created and then you we make this for all listings and then we just click OK. And when you see this now, you see that we have now exactly all the products that we um, just created for the profile. And this is what we wanted because this is what we want to update. And yeah, you have now for all five uh, designs here exactly the price, the markets that you want and you are ready to update. And this is now the last step that we do, that we update. And now you're ready to upload and to update. Just one thing you should take care of before, go to options, settings, templates and Amazon Merch. And here you can now define when you want to skip parts of the upload process and in our case where we want to update the product and the pricing, I recommend to you to skip the listing text. You know where we wrote just for update, just for update. Skip the listing text because this is already uplo um, uploaded, yeah, is online. We just want to update the products and the pricing and this we won't touch the listing text. Of course, you could also do that. This is just another case, another workflow. But if you want to change, for example, all yearly numbers from 2023 to 2024, you could also do this workflow, define the profile you want, in this case also with the listing text you want, and then also update your designs. So you basically can update anything. In our case, we want to update the um, pricing and the products, so we skip actively the listing text. And then we click on save 
and now you can go to the upload section and then you start here the Amazon upload. I just let it run here on the second monitor so I don't have to um, yeah, censor too much afterwards. And what Flying does now is it opens the edit with the design you already uploaded and then you can see here it will now expand with the products we enabled in the profile and we have defined in flying upload and then of course select the colors if if available but we already have here all the colors and then here update the prices And the same for the sweatshirt we defined. And also important for the pop sockets, um, we defined here a black background and this is scaled by flying upload directly and you can also set your uh, percentage here if you want. This is also possible in the settings. And then you see here and the prices are updated and important now we skip the listing text like we defined and then we just publish and this is it we expanded this product and I change now the window again that um, yeah you don't see the other designs but okay it's just a just the St. Patrick's designs here, so it's okay. Um, but this is it. Um, this is the whole process. I think we updated this one design, so with the other designs it would be the same. And this is how the update process with offline upload works. And I think you see now, you can update everything, all to the prices that you want, all to the product that you want, and all to the listing text if you want, even if we don't did this in our example. So you see how easy it can be to update your designs on Amazon Merge with Flying Upload. Just a few clicks and you can update hundreds or thousands of designs. And let's be honest, if you do this manually, it will take you hour after hour after hour. So use this advantage because it is one to everybody who doesn't do that and yeah, play around the new limit from Amazon Merge with this method. I hope you like this kind of content and you can also take a look around the flying channel. We have a lot more and also leave a like also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos in the future and here on top you can now see also our earnings video what we earned in 2023 with Amazon Merch. Till the next time.